Okay, so this is the uh, example that we're working on in class today where we're trying to figure out what pipe diameter we should use for this situation where we're lifting water from a lower reservoir up to the upper reservoir. The elevation difference between the two is at 35 feet. It's going to be going through 800 feet of pipe and we want to achieve a flow rate of 1.5 cubic feet per second and we know it's made out of cast iron. Now, here's what we did. We solved the energy equation and uh, substituted in the uh, known elevation difference between the two and we found out that the pump head that's available um, based on the um, 505 uh, based on the 10 horsepower in the previous calculations we did we found out that that means that there's going to be a um, pump head of 58.79 feet and since the elevation difference between the two tanks is 30 feet, that means there's 23.79 that's available that we can spend on the energy losses. Uh, so again, we're going to be going through an iteration process where what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out the, uh, the diameter that's required in order to have this be the amount of energy loss there is. Now the trick was is that if we're using this formula to identify the diameter that's needed, the F value, we don't know what to use as our starting point. So we kind of uh, did a little substitution where we said, well, what if it was fully turbulent flow? And what if we had maybe approximately a half a, a foot diameter? And then it turned out the F value would be maybe in the ballpark of 0.02. So just as our initial first guess, let's say that we guess an F value of, uh, of 0.02. So, we substituted this is the formula for D. So you see it's eight times the pipe length of 800 feet and I've anchored that so it's always gonna be 800 feet even when I reapply that formula in other places. Uh, multiplied by the flow rate squared. So here with B8, that's the reference to the Q value of 1.5 cubic feet per second and it's squared. And then times the F value. So B14 is this first guess value and you'll notice that B14 is not anchored because I'm going to copy and paste this block of calculations in other spots and I want it to always be looking at the latest F value that I've estimated. Now down here in the denominator I've got the H sub F value so this is the 23.79 feet of head that we can use on energy loss divided by G so G is the 32.2 feet per second squared and then divided by pi squared and then all of that is to the one-fifth power. Okay, so if the F value is 0.02, then this is the diameter that should be needed. Now, if that's the diameter, then I can calculate a certain area based on that. Area is pi d squared divided by four. And now the flow velocity through the pipe is going to be simply Q divided by A. And so that's the velocity through the pipe. And the whole reason I'm doing this other stuff is because I want to come up with an updated F value. Remember, this was just kind of a guess out of thin air, essentially. And with this new updated Reynolds number, which is the velocity times the diameter divided by the kinematic viscosity of the fluid, now that I've got this updated Reynolds number, I'm going to use the full Jane equation when I calculate this F value. All right, so the full Jane equation is going to be 1.325 uh, divided by the logarithm of the K sub S. So here's the K sub S anchoring that divided by 3.7. K sub S anchoring that divided by uh, 3.7 divided by D. Now the diameter I'm going to use was my previous diameter. So using this diameter plus 5.74 uh, divided by the uh, Reynolds number. So that's the Reynolds number that I calculated in the previous step to the power of 0.9. Okay, and I close that out and I square it. And now I've got an updated estimate of what is the uh, what is the F value. Okay, now with that updated estimate, I'm going to do the same thing I did before where I'm going to calculate this, but it's going to be based on this updated value of F. So rather than typing that whole equation over again, I'm going to 
do control C, which is copy. I'm gonna move down here, I'm gonna do control V, which is paste. And so if we look at where it's referencing, it's all these same constants that aren't changing, but now it's referring to the new guess value of F that I have. And then I can do a similar thing with A, just copy, control C, control V, and paste. So that new updated value of the area based on the new diameter. Uh, velocity, copy, control C, control V, and paste. The new velocity, same thing with Reynolds number, control C, control V, and we've got a new updated Reynolds number. So then my F value, actually at this point I can just copy and paste everything. I'm gonna copy and paste, and let's make sure, I, I think I should be able to just copy and paste the entire block, control C, uh, control V, and what it's doing is you can tell it's starting to converge on the answer because this F value isn't changing very much from iteration to iteration. You know, in the, in the first guess, we had this 0 0.0200, but now it's 0 0.0230229, so it's not changing much. And the Reynolds number, likewise, is kind of stabilized already. Just now in the third iteration is all, it's stabilized pretty close. So let me do another round of control C, control V, and the diameter, the, the answer, the question is how big should this pipe be? Like what's the required pipe diameter? It's not changing. It looks like 535 millimeters if we're expressing, oh no, I'm sorry, this is feet. So uh, that would be 0.535 feet. Or if we're gonna express that in terms of inches, then it would be this times 12. It would need to be 6.4 inches in the interior diameter. So we can keep doing this over and over again, but we're not going to get much change because the solution has, uh, has converged, meaning that there's no further changes in the diameter. So uh, the, the main idea here is that, remember, there's this relationship between the, uh, the velocity is determined by the F value, but we didn't know an F value to begin with, so we had to just start with a guess. And I, uh, I think you could start with a bad guess and maybe it would take you more iterations. Like if we said, well, what if it was 0 0.01 as our first guess? Well, it's still eventually going to converge on the right value for the diameter. This is the required diameter that we need to have. It's just it didn't converge as quickly when we had this slightly worse answer. You know, if it was 0 0.008, which is at the far end of the spectrum for F values, then you see it's 0 0.539, 0 0.534, 535, and there finally we have two confirmations that it's not changing any longer. The F value isn't changing any longer. So the better your initial guess is, the closer your initial guess is to the actual converged F value, the sooner, the fewer iterations it's going to converge. But even with the bad one, it'll eventually get there. So that's the conclusion of this. Uh, this example. This example was asking what pipe diameter is needed and the answer is the pipe should be 0.535 feet.